New information, progress is being made tonight on a multi-million dollar resort in Sheffield. It is called Inspiration Landing and neighbors have been hearing about it for years. Way 31's Breck and Terry shows us why they're a little bit skeptical even though the work is now starting. This sign marking where Inspiration Landing will be is the only action Sheffield citizens have seen on the project. But city officials say in the coming weeks, people will see more movement. It'll take us a couple of weeks to probably open the bids and award the bids. And uh, after that, we expect to see some, uh, some ground movement out there and have a big uh, groundbreaking. Sheffield City Councilman Ronnie Wicks said the city is using a $4.5 million federal grant to lay the foundation for a resort called Inspiration Landing. The roadway down close to where the bridge is going to go and uh, the water and wastewater utility infrastructure, will, what, that, what they'll be bidding on. Wicks said the project will have three hotels, retail stores and more. I think it's also going to impact uh, the entire area. Uh, when we get the amphitheater and the event center, you know, and it's going to have uh, uh, a brewery and a distillery, we, we think it's going to bring people in here for concerts. The plans for Inspiration Landing were first announced in 2015. Four years later, some Sheffield neighbors are skeptical. It's rough to get a lot of people's hopes up for something that just never keeps coming. So action is really all that matters in this life so words are pretty trivial and meaningless. Wicks said the hold up on the project has been getting through government red tape and a lot of behind the scenes work on securing the loan. Kevin Robinson said he hopes the project does happen because it would have an economic impact on the area but he's not holding his breath. We'll see action is actions what's up. Wicks believes they could have a groundbreaking ceremony by the end of the year. In Sheffield, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. The project will be split up into two phases. The first phase includes a marina and residential housing. One